Hello guys, Life Hackster here. Today, we'll be comparing the new Ring Stick-Up Cam battery versus the Ring Spotlight Cam battery version. I did compare the wired versions of these cameras a while back, and I'll include the link in the description down below. I'll also link my individual reviews of these cameras below if you want to check them out. The main difference between the two, aside from their design, are the LED lights on the Spotlight Cam. We will be comparing the video and audio quality in daytime and at night, motion detection performance, differences in the app interface if there are any, and see if there are any advantages of one camera from the other. Before we start, I'll give you all a quick update on my battery-powered stick-up cam. When I did a review a while back, I had an issue with the mount that they are particularly hard to adjust and move around. I tried loosening the arm screw but it didn't help. Eventually, it broke on me. After calling Ring, they sent me a replacement arm and base, and when testing it, I'm pretty sure the one that broke is an off-the-spec part because the replacement one feels like the one that I have in my stick-up cam wired version. Also, when I was testing night vision, I have the same results like on my original review, which the infrared LEDs didn't turn on. And I thought it was just the ambient lighting and also my neighbor's floodlights that didn't trigger the stick-up cam's light sensor to turn on the infrared LEDs. Well, I took down the camera and tested it in total darkness. And the same thing, the LEDs didn't turn on. I was about to call Ring again but decided to do a reset first and it might just be a firmware glitch and not hardware related. And it did fix it. So, if you are in a situation like me that some feature of the camera is not working properly, try resetting it first and see if it will fix the issue. Anyways, let's start with the pricing. The Ring Stick-Up Cam retails for $180 and the Spotlight Cam for $200. Both cameras are 1080p Full HD with a Stick-Up Cam's field of view of 115 degrees horizontal and 135 degrees diagonal. The Spotlight Cam has a 140 degree field of view. Let's see if there are any differences. So this is the video and audio quality of the Stick-Up Cam battery version. And right now, it's cloudy and raining. This is the audio and video test of the Ring Spotlight Cam battery version. And as you can see, I don't know if you know, it's raining. So I'm going to start testing this, guys. So this is a 10 feet. 15 feet, 20 feet, 25 feet, 30 feet. So this is ring, so this is for pickup cam at 10 feet. 15 feet, 20 feet, 25 feet, and 30 feet. Both cameras are weather resistant with the stick-up cam having an IPX5 rating. The stick-up cam has flexible mounting options and you can easily change between a desktop stand to a ceiling mount or to a wall mounting setups. Also, if you unscrew the base and the arm from the back of the camera, you will have a quarter 20 thread and now you can use any traditional security camera mounts. As to the spotlight cam, it has its own ball joint mount and you can also install it in a ceiling or a wall, but you need to switch around the mounting plate so as to install it properly. As to dimensions, the stick-up cam is cylindrical with a diameter of 2.36 inches and a height of 3.82 inches, 
while the spotlight cam battery is 4.96 inches in height, 2.72 inches in width, and 2.99 inches in length or the front to back measurements. Both cameras can be hooked up to a solar panel and actually Ring designed the stick up cam so that it can use the solar panel that was designed for the spotlight cam battery. Both cameras uses Ring's 6000 mAh lithium ion rechargeable battery and the spotlight cam have a space to put two of them which it is designed to use one and automatically use the backup whenever the other one is depleted. So this basically doubles the battery life of the spotlight cam. Depending on your use, the battery should last around 3 to 6 months on both cameras. Charging it from low charge can take up to 5 to 10 hours. Both cameras use PIR passive infrared sensor that detects heat for motion detection. Settings in the app are almost the same except that the newer stick-up cam has the zones overlaid to the camera's field of view, which in my testing is pretty accurate in estimating the sensor's working range. The spotlight cam has the same three zones but you have to test and guess and this spotlight cam has been in my front yard since my last update and I haven't found the sweet spot yet on its motion detection. I either have a lot of false alerts in picking up motion in the sidewalk and I barely have the zones turned on. Ring stick up cam, battery version and I'm gonna go first at around the 30 feet mark or probably around that area. at your stick-up cam. Yep, it detected me beyond 30 feet. Motion at your spotlight cam. Yep, both cameras are pretty sensitive, 30 feet. Both of them are able to detect me at 30 feet and both of the cameras uses a PIR or passive infrared motion detection. This year though, Ring has announced that it will release an update for their battery-powered cameras including these two cameras and will have more flexible zoning options like the one that they use for their wired cameras. So I'm waiting for that update. For now though, I like the stick-up cam zone settings better. Both cameras or all of the Ring cameras record to the cloud and needs a subscription of $3 a month or $30 a year per camera or you can subscribe to the Ring Protect Plus plan of $10 a month or $100 annually for unlimited cameras in one address and also includes professional monitoring of their alarm system if you have one. In just camera monitoring, it is already the cheapest as compared to other companies that charge for subscription. And if you add the alarm monitoring, you can look at it as free cloud recording for their cameras because $10 a month for your alarm to be monitored, that is pretty cheap. Comment down below guys if you know if there is any other alarm company that charges only $100 a year for their alarm monitoring. Both cameras have night vision and the spotlight cam has the enhanced night vision in which it switches to color recording when the spotlights are on. So this is the video quality of the Ring Spotlight Cam battery version and with enhanced night vision and also the spotlights are on and I'm pretty sure this is a full color recording. This is the video quality of the Ring Spotlight Cam battery version and with the infrared LEDs on and it is at night and the spotlight is off. As I said earlier, the stick-up cam's infrared LEDs are now working normally and this is how the night vision looks at night. So this is the video quality of the Ring stick-up cam battery version and with the infrared LEDs light on and at night. Both cameras have two-way audio. Ring always had the full duplex audio on all their cameras. This is one thing that a lot of other security camera companies don't have. Ring doesn't have the best audio and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But the ease of using it is pretty intuitive. Just click the mic one time to talk. This is audio of the Ring 
this is the only step for the repeat plastic cam battery. Both cameras can only be connected to a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. Operating temperature for both cameras is from negative 5 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. They have lesser range in cold weather because they are battery powered and batteries normally are not reliable in cold weather. If you are in an area where it gets pretty cold, wired camera setup is your best option. Both cameras have a manually activated siren. The one feature that the Spotlight Cam battery have that the stick-up cam doesn't are the LED lights. And as you can see at night, it is way better because of color recording. And you'll be able to identify colors and what a person wears in more detail. Like that I am wearing a gray jacket with a yellow-green stripes and I'm wearing jeans. This will be hard to do if it is in black and white. So, what do you think guys? Which one is better? Is the $20 difference worth it for the stick-up cam battery? Or the LED lights of the Spotlight Cam is worth the $20 extra? Anyways, I can't wait for Ring to update the motion zones on their battery-powered cameras, so that it will lessen false notifications more. I am hoping that it will not affect the alert notification speed though, because I think it will. We will see. Well, that's it guys and thanks for watching. And I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet to get comparison videos like this video, product reviews, product updates, and long-term reviews. Thank you.